What's going on guys? This is Jason with A Main Hobbies and today we're taking a look at some new FPV products that have landed today. First off is going to be the Racecraft Props, the new 5038 double crane style prop or two blade prop. This prop takes a lot of features from the 5051 prop which is super popular within the racing community. Uh, however, the main difference between the 5051 and the 5038 the 5038 is going to be a little, le little less power hungry compared to the 5051 and therefore be a little bit more efficient. At the same time, for the pilots that like spinning high KV motors, uh, the two blade prop will be an excellent choice compared to the three blade prop. Again, just to be a little bit nicer to your batteries and not be so power hungry. Next up, we have the Brother Hobby 2206 motors, both in 2300 KV and 2600 kV. These motors are very popular um, within the community and Brother Hobby does OEM for some other brands like Pyrodrone. So these may look familiar to you as the Hyperlite motors. Again, very popular, very well known, very robust motors and also deliver a great amount of power for you guys just looking for the maximum level of performance. Again, Brother Hobby, they are in stock now, so check them out. And then as of today, a few hours ago, we just got the new limited edition Emax 2306 motors in this awesome white color. Both of these are now in stock 2400 kV and 2750 kV. Again, the white is limited edition and after the first couple batches arrive and sell out, you will no longer be able to get this sleek white color. Emax will be changing it back to the black color. So if you are set on being a little bit different and having the schnazzy white color with the red bottom on your quad, I suggest purchasing, purchasing these sooner rather than later. Of course, these are gonna be insane performers being that they are wider at the 23 millimeter series instead of the 22, and also that six millimeter stator height, which the name implies 2306. Again, in stock and check them out. If you have any questions about the products that we discussed today, check out the links down below. And as always, thank you for watching.